Now in today's video, what we're doing is meal prepping three salads. We have our 32 ounce mason jars and this is where we're going to prep them. So everything's gonna be layered. I'm gonna show you the perfect way to do it so that your stuff doesn't get all soggy and you can actually prep for the whole week. So to make this process a little bit quicker because obviously you would be making these at home, we're gonna start off with the protein, okay? So number one is chicken. You can cook your own chicken. We have our bacon. I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna show you the quickest way to cook it where it's super, super crispy and you don't even have to turn on your stove. And so this is how I cook my bacon, especially if I, um, I'm just making like a single or double serving, then I'll make it like this. So let me know if you've tried this method. I've shared this with you guys before on Instagram and on TikTok, and you guys went crazy about it. So let me know if you guys have made your bacon like this before. Okay, so we're gonna grab a few of these napkins because you guys already know that bacon um, is obviously greasy. So it's going to let out a lot of grease. We're just gonna put three. And then you grab your raw bacon. You're just gonna place it on your napkin. However many pieces you want. If you're meal prepping like, I don't know, three salads that are the same flavor, then you're just gonna make a lot more of it. But yeah, you put as, as little or as much bacon as you want. So now you're just going to place a napkin on top. You really don't have to put um, place as many napkins, but I feel like it just absorbs everything and um, then the cleanup is easier. So we have all of our bacon, napkins. We're gonna go to the microwave and we're going to cook this for about four minutes, okay? So I'll show you what it looks like and then if it needs a little bit more, then we'll do it then, but four minutes on high. Okay, so I wanna show you our bacon. So you can see, these will get crispy because they just got out of the heat right now. So as they cool, they will get crispy. Don't you worry. Okay, so our protein's done. We have our bacon and now we have our chicken. What I'm gonna do here is just shred this really quickly. Um, place that there. And then um, we'll move on to our veggies. So we're making three different salads. So we're making a barbecue ranch, a Greek salad, and a BLT. And guys, you know, I'm probably gonna use about a half cup of chicken per salad, but I also have dinner. So I think at this point, it just really depends on like, what are you eating? Are you having snacks? Are you having breakfast, lunch, dinner? Cause you just wanna make sure that you're having enough protein throughout the day. Okay, so I pretty much have all my veggies here and ingredients that I'm gonna use for the Greek salad. So that's the first one. Guys, I'm so excited because I'm a huge salad eater. So first things first, your dressing. So there's kind of like a formula to put all this together. So the first thing is some dressing. We are using a Greek dressing. This one's made with avocado oil. You can use your dressing of choice. Just make healthy choices for your um, ingredients. Then you'd want to find like an avocado or olive oil based uh, dressing because canola oil, soybean oil, that's just inflammatory and um, that's not good for your body. So we did two tablespoons of our dressing at the bottom. You start with your dressing, then you go in with your um, veggies, things that are not gonna get mushy. So I'm thinking we'll do some cucumber. So we have our cucumber, and then you just toss that, like one little layer. So now we have our cucumber, and you can, this is red onion, so I love red onion. But if you hate onion or you want little pieces, then just do little pieces. And then we have our chickpeas. Now, they add to um, the texture. They have like a creamy texture. So I think that, um, we'll do like two and a half tablespoons. And now we go in with our tomato. I also love that there's just so many colors. It makes me feel so like a healthy girl. So now just, we add in our protein. So now we have our romaine lettuce, and now you're just gonna pack it in. I almost feel like we put so many toppings, like I don't have a lot of le room for lettuce. And then last but not least, you cannot have a Greek salad without some feta. So you can do like a tablespoon or two. That looks so pretty! Do you love it? Oh my gosh, guys, take a look at how beautiful this salad looks. 
and I love how the layers are so defined. You can also see that nothing is touching the dressing besides the cucumber, so nothing's gonna get soggy. And I think that's probably one of the things that we always think about. It's like, is our salad gonna end up soggy? But as you can tell, it's not. So um, now we just put our little lid on and you can put it straight into the fridge and it'll stay nice and crisp and fresh for a few days. So. We're all done with our Greek salad. Now let's move on to our BLT. I'm gonna show you how simple this is. It's also super hearty and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So Greek is done. Now we're moving on to our BLT. So that one, the dressing, and of course you can always change the dressings around, but traditionally a BLT um, does use ranch. So I'm using a dairy-free ranch by Tesame. And then we have our little bacon. So the only thing we're gonna do here before we get started is cut it. I just cut it into bits, kind of chunky bites though. And we're gonna do our two tablespoons. Of course you can use more, but two tablespoons is what people usually, is what a mason jar salad calls for. I'm using cucumber because I feel like it's a great little base, onion, Okay, so I'm adding a few extra ingredients because this is my salad and this is how I want my BLT, but you can just use bacon, lettuce, and tomato and, you know, call it a day. What I'm gonna do now is add our lettuce. So now all we're gonna do is fill her up her and then we'll top it with the bacon. I mean, take a look at this, guys. It's super easy, super hearty. You have great, healthy, clean ingredients and it's gonna keep you full throughout the day. So. This is something that you should definitely, definitely try. Okay, so we're just gonna place our little lid and we're gonna set this one aside. Actually, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we're gonna do our last one, which I'm super excited about because it is barbecue chicken. So we have two salads done. Now we're um, moving on to our last, which is our barbecue chicken salad. So we have some of our rotisserie chicken. I'm just going to put about, yeah, about half a cup half a cup of chicken, and we have our sugar-free barbecue sauce, so you're gonna use whichever barbecue sauce you want, and then just gonna mix it. So this is our, and you can add as little or as much as you want. So um, let's set this aside, and we're gonna start layering because I already have all of my veggies prepped here. This is a barbecue ranch from Primal, and we're gonna do our same two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna throw in the cucumber. Now we have our red onion. Now um, I'm gonna add the chicken first and then the black beans. So let's add in our barbecue chicken. Now we're just gonna go in and add our black beans. We're gonna top it off with our lettuce. We are just gonna add some Mexican blend cheese right on top. All right guys, so our last salad is done. This is our barbecue chicken salad. I'm actually really happy with the way they all turned out. Um, let me know your thoughts. Like, would you have added something? Let me know if there are other salads that you think would be really fun to make this way. All right guys, so these are our three mason jar salad meal prep ideas. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Mwah. Wait, see? I think we're gonna be able to make this happen. Yeah. Can we just poke a knife? Well, that's how I ended up with stitches one time. Oh. All right guys, that was tough. 